Well, today I want to talk about parties and getting wasted and alcohol abuse and that kind of stuff because I have a few stories to tell you guys. So, as you know, I'm in college and during my co my college thingy here in London and I'm not from the UK at all. I'm from Italy, Verona. And in Italy we have a really different concept of getting drunk, having parties and blah 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 blah. We basically have one big main event. One big event uh, a month. So you basically save up all of your money and then you go there, I don't know, with a fucking limo or you got a table. Well, what I mean is that you you do things the proper way, let's put it this way. And that was my fucking night. That was pretty damn close. Here, or at least outside Italy, outside of my hometown, things are a little bit different. When I first moved to fucking London, it was during September, and I, the entire month of September, there was like the welcome week for all the freshers and all the fucking fresher party. And believe me when I tell you that I missed probably only one or two of those parties, and they had a party each and every day. Okay, that was fucking. That was an achievement for me, okay, let's put it this way, because I probably went to more, I probably spent more time in a fucking club than I spent at home sleeping. And I thought, like, back home I would go to all the fucking parties that I could, because I love music, I love to dance, I love to stay with friends, I love to have fun, but as soon as I fucking came here, it was basically the opposite. People were not saving up for that one night in order to make it more special, let's put it this way, but they were... Basically they had parties and alcohol and booze and girls every single night, okay? And I was not ready for that. Because... As much as I would love to consider myself as a city boy, I was actually born in a city, which is actually a town, it's not even that big of a town, but it's considered as a t as a city. I don't even know why. Probably because of fucking Romeo and Juliet bullshit. Well, and I was not ready for the huge amount of fucking parties and booze and stuff that was going on here in London. Okay, but I tried to keep it up. I tried seriously. I tried my best to fucking being able to survive and also have fun. And in that first month, I probably drank an average of at least a bottle, a small bottle of vodka this size a day, or at least any other alcohol, dr uh, alcohol beverage, simply because it was like Freshers Week, you have to party, you have to have fun, and blah 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 blah. And after that time, man, I'm not kidding if I tell you that I'm not able anymore to have party and have fun because usually back in Italy I could go to a fucking club or a fucking disco or... sorry as you wanna call it just having fun you know like going there with your friends and talk and blah 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 blah, blah and meet girls talk with girls which is something that I quite miss because here in London, to meet girls, you need to go to clubs. If you go to clubs, the music is so fucking loud that it, there is no fucking way to talk with girls, okay? So all of the, the thing is just... Fucked up. I'm not used to this kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, guys, now I'm going to show you probably the best spot ever in this map if you want to camp. Which is not usually what I do. Let's put it... What I want to get prone. I know that... It, Maybe they fixed it. Well, it's here. And the thing is that I was definitely not used to getting so drunk so often that now I can even fucking lift a fucking bottle of an uh, that has at least, I don't know, like 1-2% of alcohol inside because it makes me sort of sick. Let's put it this way. It happened to me a similar thing also with fucking, you know, um, what are they called? Pringles, okay? When I was small, I used to go and ski a lot, especially with my parents and with my friends. And every time a fucking lunch break or a normal break, we used to have like pasta, other stuff, and also Pringles. 
and I was madly in love with Pringles. Seriously, I, I really, I really fucking like those fucking yellow things. But the thing is that after one, two years, I was definitely over it. Nowadays, if I see a fucking Pringle, I can try to eat it, and that's it. Only one. If I put like two or more, I will fucking get really, really sick and start puking. And I'm not kidding. And this is something that happened to me only with fucking Pringles and with fucking alcohol. And I know that if you drink a lot of alcohol, you basically puke because you're poisoning your body and you shouldn't do that and blah 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 blah. And I do not recommend you watching this fucking video to go out and get wasted. This is not the good thing to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I definitely didn't expect that girl. I definitely didn't see that girl. Well, as I was saying... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. As I was saying... <laughs> Do not start drink just because it's something like cool that everyone does like you, you because eventually it will happen to you what has happened to me I got so used I basically my brain connected being into a club and having fun with drinking booze so now I can I cannot go into a club and enjoy being in a club without getting drunk that's the reason why I don't go to clubs anymore or at least not for like really special events like I don't know the birthday of a close friend of mine or, so or something like that look at now all the fucking people are fucking leaving my lobby motherfuckers well, and the other thing is that yesterday night a friend of mine was like you know I'm fucking leaving London in what the 21st is like well a few days something like that and I want to celebrate sort of because I've been doing the foundation year and if you don't know what a foundation year is basically like a practice year your uni if you don't have the determinate like grades or stuff that you want to that you need to enter that uni but the uni sees some potential in you basically says you have to do the foundation year you basically go and do one year of college which is not the first year of college is something more basic and if you do well in that you're basically have most of the times you have your ticket to go and fucking um, and fucking enter uni and start your first year and he was like well I don't know if next year I will be here because I did my foundation year I will have all my results by mid July so this could possibly be the last time that we actually see each other and I was like well yeah okay sure cool uh, the same day I also gave in my final presentation with all my fucking teammates if I can call them that way basically the people that I the group that I was working with and we had to present something that you guys probably already know it's what I call the fucking oculus rift an amazing amazing product but the thing is that he was like well you should we should go out and fucking celebrate it could be the, our last time our last sort of party together and blah 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 and I was like yeah sure cool no problem so we didn't even go go out okay we were in a fucking mezzanine which is basically like the common floor here in my dorm because it lives in my same building and we were just like okay we bought some beers we bought some fucking uh, what was it like vodka and other drinks and we were enjoying ourselves okay but we decided to go for probably the worst beers that you can actually buy on the market we know we are college students we don't have that huge amount of money to fucking spend on parties and blah 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 especially because our education at least my uni it's pretty expensive really really pretty expensive and I didn't want to fucking waste all of my fucking money for the entire month on a fucking night which is something that I already did and I will talk about that in a, probably another video for this reason we fucking went and bought probably the cheapest beers in the fucking in the entire supermarket they are called fucking they are called fucking uh, super tenants which I believe is a beer that is sort of illegal in some countries because of how fucking weird it is the taste is basically like fucking Red Bull but alcoholic and not the good Red Bull the really cheap version of the Red Bull and it's something that I definitely do not recommend because the worst thing about that fucking beer is that if you get wasted with it 
the day after you will have the worst hangover you ever had in your fucking history like seriously my head is just fucking hurting right now easy easy man so we fucking got drunk on that fucking shit which is something that I do not recommend if you want to get drunk spend some more money maybe get drunk a lot less times as I used to do in my hometown like once like go out and party like once every every month or every two months so that you have a decent amount of fucking money to spend wow buddy Ooh, I got owned okay fair enough so that you have a decent amount of fucking money to spend on your booze because believe me if you are if you really want to get fucking wasted I'm okay with that I have no problem with that I have done it quite a few times but do not wow that was bad but definitely do not get wasted on really cheap alcohol because you're basically when you get wasted you're poisoning your body with fucking alcohol and yes it makes you feel dizzy and all happy or maybe really really sad and you fucking want to call your ex or shit like that stuff which sadly I already did a few times but the thing is that I do not recommend you guys doing it at all no I want the kill I want the fucking whip son of a bitch well the moral of the story is if you really want to get fucking drunk I have no problem with that it's your life just know that if you get drunk on fucking really really cheap booze you will have the worst hangovers and headaches the day after man I, I, I truly feel like nausea and shit like that so do not poison your body or at least if you really want to because you know it's a social kind of things and blah 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 first of all don't do it because other people are doing it but doing but do it because you actually want to do it you know you actually want to try or maybe you like what you're actually feeling in that moment in that state the first thing is sorry second thing is do not get drunk on fucking cheap boots okay and though it's also the third thing and also the fourth thing if you want to get drunk, get drunk on proper serious booze. I don't mean like fifty dollars or fifty pounds for a bottle, but I mean like at least four pounds for a fucking beer, okay? They may be there may be not be as much of a fucking alcohol percent in, in that, so you will probably have to buy more or maybe I don't know whatever works for you, but the day after you will find me. Seriously. Well, that's all, as always, man is here, and bye bye!